What is computer vision syndrome? Computer vision syndrome describes uh, the symptoms that we get when uh, using screens, uh, computer screens or gaming screens. Uh, there's been some fascinating studies videoing people who are gamers or who use computer screens. And it's shown that uh, they blink three to five times a minute, when the normal blink rate is 20 to 30 times a minute. In addition, when they blink, they don't completely close the eye. They only two thirds blink. As a result, the surface of the eye isn't properly lubricated. Imagine if you're trying to outstare somebody. When you outstare somebody, you can feel your eyes getting drier and drier, and in the end, you're forced to blink. And this is exactly what's happening with computer users and gamers. They're staring at screens. Because they're distracted by what they're doing, they're unaware of the need to blink, and they don't blink. Now, the surface of our eye is covered in tears. And the tear film needs to be perfectly clear in order for us to see and in order for the eye to feel comfortable. So the tear film has three layers. A, a mucin layer, which is a sticky layer on the surface of the eye. A, a watery layer, which makes up 90% of the tears. And then an oil layer. And the oil layer is on the surface of the eye like an oil slick. And if we don't blink, that oil slick breaks up and the tears evaporate. The watery tears evaporate. And that's known as evaporative dry eye syndrome, which is what computer vision syndrome is. So as a result, uh, people will say, towards the end of the day, my eyes start to feel gritty and sore. Or they may be contact lens wearers and say, I'm fine with my contact lenses, but at the end of the day, when I get home, I've just got to take them out. Uh, and this is computer vision syndrome. The other thing that people are unaware of, they may not be aware of their eyes being dry, but their vision being blurred. And what's happening there is the surface of the eye isn't covered by the nice healthy tear film, but it's half wet and half dry. And that's like looking through a car windscreen with drizzle. You can't see through it. So you put the wipers on, but because it's greasy, because you've all that sticky muce in there uh, and the oil isn't quite right, even though you blink, you can't see properly. It'll help for a second or two, but doesn't really resolve the problem. So what do we do about computer vision syndrome? Well, firstly, we need to educate people that that's what's happening. We need to explain to them the reason why they're getting the symptoms towards the end of the day. Because these patients don't have a fundamentally dry eye. When they're on holiday or on a weekend, they're not getting the symptoms. It's just when they're staring at the screens. So we need to educate them what, what's happening. And that helps because they will take breaks. And um, the Americans say you should, uh, they've advocated every 20 minutes, you, you should for 20 seconds stare at something 20 feet away uh, and blink and, and, and give yourself a break. Uh, so educating people what's happening so that they blink more frequently and when they blink they close their eyes fully uh, so that they don't have that two-thirds blink. And in addition, many patients will benefit from artificial teardrops so that they can use those throughout the day uh, if they're very symptomatic uh, to try and make their eyes more comfortable when they're using uh, the screens. Because the reality is we live in a world of uh, IT and computer screens and people can't modify their jobs or the, uh, what they're doing, although they can modify their behaviour when using the screens.